Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a quick and full review of this National Geographic Refractor Telescope. In this video review, I'll be going over the features and functions of this awesome telescope. Let's get right into this video. <clears throat> so essentially, how I came across this telescope was very, very simple. I was actually at my parents' house and I was looking through the closets for some video props because essentially my sisters, I have an older sister and a younger sister, they sort of store stuff there that they don't want to leave at their own house. And I came across this telescope and it was brand new in the box, still in the packaging, and I said to my sisters, whose is this? And then my older sister said that she got it for my nephew a long time ago and then just forgot to use it basically. Um, she basically got it as a gift and then just ended up getting a different gift because she forgot this one. Very, very typical thing to do when you're parents with a few kids, just because you're so busy. So I said, can I use it? And she said, of course. So I started using it and I figured that I would review it. So let's get into this. As you can see over here, um, it's a very, very simplistic telescope. I like the coloration of it. <clears throat> You can see we have the yellow coloration. There's a National Geographic symbol and, and lettering on this side over here. It looks very, very much like, a, sort of like a funky telescope. Um, and it works really, really well. And it's a very simplistic telescope. So it was super easy to assemble and set up. I, did, I basically just read the instructions very, very quickly. Um, and I looked through it, but really, it's very straightforward to set up. The instructions were really easy to understand. It only took me, like, honestly, five minutes to set the entire thing up. And it's so easy to use that literally you can just start using it as long as you kind of have an idea of how to use a general telescope you can start using it right away <clears throat> it's really really easy to adjust obviously you can adjust it you know side to side you can loosen this up to go up and down like that um, it actually has uh, a nice long barrel over here a nice long tube I'll read you the specs so the front lens over here is 50 millimeters and what that means is that there's a 50 millimeter opening over here and to calculate the maximum magnification of a telescope you can take your front lens aperture over here and you can actually multiply that by two so 50 millimeters would multiply by two would be 100 so this would offer basically a maximum of 100 times magnification okay in addition, it came with um, <clears throat> this star diagonal over here to make it a little bit easier to look into uh, the telescope. It also came with two different lenses. So we have over here a, uh, a 26 millimeter focal length lens over here that's in it. And then we also have a smaller one here. This is 9.7 millimeter. It comes with a like a dust cover for the front so you can cover up the lens like that. It comes with um, uh, this piece over here which is basically like a, uh, I think it's called a finder scope where you can align it properly. Um, and it comes with a tripod. Um, and the thing that I like about this is that if you know what you're doing with telescopes, you can really get the maximum use of it and, and you know go, go, go crazy with it in terms of looking at stuff. It's a really good telescope, but also if you don't know much about telescopes you can just use it in its basic form to just look into it at various things right it's really really cool um, my house I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to uh, what's the word they use dox myself which is like, I don't want to say where I live but my house backs onto a big open grassy area so I was kind of just using it to look into the distance in that grassy area and I can see very clearly the trees and stuff like that um, and the price point I, I like I said I didn't buy it but um, I did see what it costs and honestly the bang for your buck, the value that you're going to get with this is amazing. You know, with the, what it costs, if you end up using it 10 times and getting entertainment from it 10 times, it's already basically paid itself off. And then if you use it more than that, then you're really getting a good use of it. Okay? And honestly, like, so my sister said, you know, because her kids are older, my kids are younger, that we can use this. She goes, you guys can keep, you guys can use it. So I'm probably going to keep it for the next couple weeks and use it with my kids. I have four young kids, so I'm going to sort of let them, we'll look into various, you know, the, the moon and stuff like that, and maybe some planets and stars and blah 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 we'll look at this stuff and um yeah it's gonna be really really cool but i just wanted to review it in this video that's it if you like this video review please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching